I wanted to do a couple of word problems dealing with systems of three variables. Um, they are not really different than a system of two, but um, okay, let's read this. The sum of three numbers is sixteen. So I'm going to do different colors here. Again. The sum of three numbers is sixteen. That's three numbers, and their sum is sixteen. Now, x plus y plus z is sixteen. That is the sum of three numbers. All right. The sum of twice the first number. 3 times the second number and 4 times the third number is 46. Now, let me go and say, I'm going to say, well, x is the first number, y is the second number, and z is the third number. So I want to remember what x, y, and z represent for my situation, okay? Um, the sum of twice the first number, twice the first number, 3 times the second number, and 4 times the third number is 46. So I'm going to read that again, make sure I you know, wrote that correctly. The sum of these, so sum, twice the first number, x is the first number, so twice that one. 3 times the second number, y is the second number, 3 times that one. 4 times the third number, z is the third number, so 4 times that one is equal to 46. All right, let's keep going. Let's see what this one looks like. Um, the difference, difference is subtraction, difference between, difference between five times the first number, so five times the first number, and the second number. The difference between the two is 31. Find the three numbers. So this last equation does not have a z in it. Let me move this over, right, so that I have it such that it's lined up nicely, right? No z for this one. So the difference between 5 times the, the first, the difference, and the second is 31. So now I have my system of equations. Okay. 1, 2, 3. I'll double check. Sum of the three numbers is 16. The sum of twice the first, 3 times the second, and 4 times the third is 46. And the difference between 5 times the first and the second is 31. So I have my system of equations. There's three things to find. Therefore, I'm looking for three equations. I have three equations. The nice thing about this is that the third equation is already, you know, only in terms of two variables. Remember, we want to take a system of three into a system of two. So this one already does not have a z. So that means that I'm going to use equation one and two to eliminate z so that I can create a system of x and y. So x plus uh, y, so y plus z is 16. 2x plus 3y plus 4z is 46. And I want to eliminate um, my z, right? Because I already have one equation of just x and y. So that means I'm going to multiply the first equation by negative 4 to create negative 4x. Minus 4y minus 4z is negative 64. 2x plus 3y plus 4z is 46. So now when I add the two together, my z's go away. And then I'll have just an equation of x um, and y. Okay, to match with this equation of just x and y. Um, so line up my x's. So I have a negative 2x. This is minus y is equal to negative 18. And now I have this of just x and y and this of just x and y. Let me bring it to the next page. 5x minus y. So 5x minus y is, what was it? 31. And then my other equation was negative 2x minus y. 2x minus y is negative 18. Um, not really much I have to do here because I already have like what I need in front of my y's just opposite signs, so I'm going to make everything here opposite so that I can eliminate my y's easily when I have them together. <clears throat> so when I have um, a negative 7x, these will go, is equal to negative 49. Cool, x is 7, that worked out nicely. Now I have my x, the next thing that would be easy to find is my y, and I can use either one of these equations. So let's use the first one, 5x plus y minus y. Okay. It became plus half. There's 31. 5 times 7 minus y is 31. 
35 minus y is 31. Subtract uh, 35 from both sides. Um, negative y is negative 4, so y is 4. I have xy, now I need z. Let's go back to, let's say, equation 1. The sum of all of them is 16. So x plus y plus z is 16. So 7 plus 4 plus z is 16. So this is 11 plus z is 16. So z is 16. You subtract 11 from both sides, z is 5. So my solution, 7, 4, 5 as an ordered triple. Or, don't forget it's a um, system, right, of, of equations. And it came from a situation. So the first number is 7. The second number is 4. And the third number is 5. So the first number is 7, the second number is 4, and the third number is 5, such that the sum of them is 16. The sum of twice the first number, three times the second number, and four times the third number is 46, and blah, 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 blah. Okay? It always sounds worse than it is. Now, this, I felt, was kind of an important question. You know, a lot of people like money, so we'll deal with a little money. So, um, let's see. You want to read it first. A person invests 6700 for one year. Part at 8%, part at 10%, and the remainder at 12%. That means I see three cases. I don't know if you see three cases. I see three cases, three unknowns, X, Y, and Z. So let's say X is the amount that he invests, or she, invested at uh, 8%. Y is the amount invested at 10%. And Z is the amount invested at 12 percent. These are my three unknowns, okay? So I'm defining my variables. I'm defining my variables first. Then I'll write my equations based on that. Three unknowns, I'm looking for three equations. So let's see what we have. Um, actually, he invested all this in one year. So the amount that he invested at 8 percent plus the amount that he invested at 10 percent plus the amount that he invested at 12% should be the total that he invested. So that's one equation. All right, let's see if we can find another one. The total annual income from these invest uh, investments was 716. The amount of money invested at 12% was 300 more than the amount invested at 8 and 10 combined. Um, all right, so let me... Uh, let me do this part first because it's a little bit easier than the second part because I have to talk about some background first for the second part. So the amount that he invested at 12%, was, which is my Z, was 300 more okay, than the amount that he invested at 8 and 10%. So this is the amount that he invested at 8 and 10%. And being that Z is 300 more than that, I have to add 300 to those two to get to Z. So let's see if that makes sense. The amount of money that he invested at 12%, which is my Z, was 300 more than the amount he invested at um, 8 and 10% combined. So the amount that he invested at 8 and 10% plus 300 should be my amount invested at 12%. That's my second equation. Third equation. I'm kind of going to do this one last because the total annual income from these investments. So I don't know if you recall from back in the day, but when I'm doing an um, you know, interest rate, so I'm earning 8% um, of, let's say, so if I'm investing money at 8%, 8% of that total that I invest is my interest. So we're talking interest here. So 8% of X is 0.08X plus the interest coming from 10%, which is 0.10Y, plus the interest coming from my 12% should be equal to the total interest that year. So again, the total annual income from these investments was 716. Interest from this guy plus the interest from this plus the interest from this was 716. Here's my system of equations. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to organize the system so that it's nice and neat where all my x's are lined up, all my y's are lined up, and all my z's are lined up. So I'm going to take, yeah, I'm going to take uh, my first equation, x plus y plus d is 6,700. And then I'm going to bring these two x's over. So I'm going to get negative x, negative y, plus d is 300. And then if I don't like, you know, decimals here, I'm going to multiply everything by 100 to move the decimal places two places to the right. And that's going to make 
that's going to make me whole numbers instead of decimal. 7, 16. So let me take this system and bring it to the next page so I have some space. Okay. So um, let's choose a variable to eliminate. I think eliminating okay, doesn't matter. X or Y. Let's eliminate Y. So starting with equation 1 and 2, which is this and this. This is the Equation 1 is x plus y plus z is 6,700. Equation 2 is negative x minus y plus z is 300. Adding these two together is nice because it eliminates both my x's and my y's. So I have 2z, that works out p to p. Add the 2 is equal to uh, 7,000. And dividing that by 2, I get that z. Z is 3,500. So now I have my Z. My Z represented, uh, where did that go? Let me write that again. Remember my X was the amount invested at 8%. Y was the amount invested at 10%. And Z was the amount invested at 12%. Okay, so I just determined my Z, which was the amount that he invested at 12%. So okay, let's keep going. So now I have my Z. I need my X and my Y. So what I'm going to do is let's go back here. I eliminated Z in 1 and 2. Let's eliminate Z in equation uh, 2 and 3. Um, I'm sorry, I eliminated Y in equation 1 and 2. Let's eliminate Y in equation 2 and 3. So 2 and 3, let me copy that down. Equation, let me write equation 3 first. 8x plus 10y plus 12z was 716. And equation 2, remember, I want to eliminate y, right? So I'm going to take equation 2 and multiply it by 10. So negative 10x minus 10y plus 10z is equal to 300 times 10 is 3,000. Okay, adding the two together, y is it gone? Negative 2x plus 22z. Be careful with my two and my z. 22z um, is equal to 3,000 plus 716, 100, 7400. Everything is divisible by 2, so I'm just going to divide everything by 2. I'm just going to make it smaller. 37, 300. Now we know that z is 3,500, so I'm going to replace z with 3,500. And let's determine my x. So negative x plus 3,500 times 11 is 38500, 0, 0, 37, 0, 0. I get that negative x is negative 1,200, so there for x is 1,200. Awesome. So now I have my x, which is the amount invested at 8%, and x plus y plus z is 6,700, so let's bring that back. x plus y plus z is 6,700, and I said the amount invested for x was 1,200. I don't know why. z was 3,500, and now... Uh, let's find my y. y plus 4,700. Oh, nice. So y is 2 grand. So if you tell me, you know, x is equal to this, y is equal to this, z is equal to that, that doesn't mean anything. I want to know. So how much was x? x was 1,200. So let's do the solution back here. x, back at the beginning. x was uh, the amount invested at 8%. So 1,200 was invested at 8%. Mm -hmm. Gonna cheat and copy and paste this. I just wanna copy and paste. Just this right here, can I do that? Maybe not. Oh, okay. 
um, y is 2,000, and y was the amount invested at 10%. 2,000 was invested at 10%, and I think it was 3,500 for z. 3,500 was invested at 12%. 3,500 was invested at 12%. This is my answer. So this guy invested 1,200 at 8%, 2,000 at 10%, and 3,500 at 12%.